Let's run through a beautiful visualization tool in Macabacus. It's called Magnitude Map, and it's up here in the Visualize drop-down menu. What Magnitude Map does is it applies conditional formatting to your values, and you can see that positive numbers are denoted in green and negative numbers are red. But the cool part is, is that the cell's shading actually gets darker the larger in magnitude the number is. For example, you can see here we have transaction price per share and the number is getting larger from left to right. And you can see the shading increasing in green. A beautiful thing about this is say we want to print out this document and present it to a client. Similarly to all of our Macabacus visualizations, the visualization will actually apply. So this is a very quick way to add an increased level of visualization to a workbook. Let's investigate how to use this functionality. We're going to clear the visualization and start again. Select the range of data that you would like the visualization to apply to, then go up into Visualize, press Magnitude Map, and here we have three options. We can analyze the selection as a single set of data, each row individually or each column individually. Since we really have various rows of, of unique data, for example, we have common stock, stock options, enterprise value, it would be most appropriate here to analyze each row in the section individually. And then now we can see each row is increasing in magnitude from left to right. So you see that increase in shading darkness as you get to the right hand side of the schedule. And we can see that these cells here with negative percentages in the premiums analysis are actually shaded red and the shading is increasing in darkness as the numbers become more negative. Lastly, let's apply this to the share prices here. So just highlight that section, go up into magnitude map, and we can analyze the selection as a single set of data. And we can see that $28.22 is our largest share price, therefore it is the darkest shading, and $10.49 is our least, and the rest are kind of in the middle with just a medium amount of shading. That's magnitude map, really a beautiful functionality. The alternative way of using conditional formatting, you can just go into the home menu, conditional formatting, and then color scales. This is Excel's native functionality. It's not as powerful because it doesn't do a great job at handling negative numbers. So magnitude map is definitely a superior solution. We can also analyze each column individually. So if you highlight the selection, go into magnitude map, then analyze each column individually we can see that each column is getting its own analysis. One last note, with the exception of formula flow, we can actually use control Z, the native Excel shortcut to clear visualizations. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.